Alright, so I've got Touch OSC set up right here on the iPad and the iPad is connected um, wirelessly to the same Wi-Fi network as the uh, as the MacBook. Um, I'm basically using this on internal mix mode in Traktor so that um, we're using this for pretty much the uh, volume of the track, bass, mid and treble of the track. Um, it's also used for the uh, mix um, cue and the volume inside the headphones right there. Um, everything else is going to be on the X1. So um, I have my MacBook over here which you can't see. Um, basically to the MacBook I've got um, an Audio 4 connected right now. Um, set up to internal mix mode so it's coming out of basically channels 1 and 2 or output 1 and 2 which is A channel on um, on the audio card um, and that's feeding straight into the DJM so I'm just using the DJM just to route it so it's not routing directly to an amp it's just actually going straight into the mixer and then from the mixer to the speakers um, so I can queue up a track uh, using the X1 so we'll go uh, for a bit of a track here we'll press sync on both on the X1 you'll see it'll highlight the yellow over here um, and uh, if I bring this up, the great thing about the Touch OSC is you can actually, wherever you touch, it drops the volume right down to that. So you don't have to use it as a slider, but you can if you want to. We can drop the bass by using the same method. You can literally just cut it or increase it. Um, it even has like a clipping uh, indicator right here. Um, so that's pretty sweet. And I can queue it up in the headphones, I can blend the mix between what's either in the headphones or playing out. And this is the volume of the headphones here, so I can get something queued up. Um, use the X1. So I'll just throw a 4 bar loop on uh, the start of this track here. And I'll just play that loop. We can bring it in at any point. Really simple to use. If you're limited of space, Simple as that.